what are we showcasing today here is an example of industry 4.0 or industrial IoT as it's called. We are using Maxim's ICs to basically implement a fully automated soccer ball testing assembly line. So we are using um, about a hundred different Maxim ICs. They're all coming together to control the robot, to control the various uh, stages in this assembly line so that we test the ball for roundness, for bounce, for weight, for pressure, amongst other things. Now, there are this whole entire factory, if you want to come a little closer, yeah? yeah. This entire factory is controlled by three different controllers. And you can see the square thing is a controller. It's a Maxim reference design that we call GoIO. And it has about 12 different Maxim ICs on each one of them. Uh, these guys are not only controlling the entire assembly line, but they're also monitoring the health and the status, which means the temperature, the pressure, the vibration, the proximity of various things within the factory. All in all, there are about 21 different sensors inside this factory. Maxim controllers are controlling the factory, as well as, like I talked about, the 21 different sensors that are controlling the motion of the robot, as well as they're providing health and status information about the factory. So if you want to come here one second, we have a separate panel which actually shows the status of the factory in various forms. So as you can see, it tracks the voltage, current, air pressure, ambient light, temperature, and vibration. So this gives us a sense of how the factory is performing and gives us early warning indicators if something is about to go wrong within the factory. Maxim enables Industry 4.0 by creating ICs that enable smaller form factor and very low power and therefore very low heat dissipation systems. Now one prime example of this is our latest implementation of a PLC reference design called GoIO. GoIO is approximately, it's first of all, it's smaller than anything else out there in the industry. It processes about 17 different I.O. channels and it fits in the palm of your hand, really. Um, we can go over there and you can take a look at this. This is enabled by only 12 different Maxim ICs. The reason we can do this is because they are highly integrated and extremely low power ICs. So we can put in a lot of functionality in a very, very small space. The other way Maxim enables this is by having very low power consumption which results in very low heat dissipation. Now this is really important in the industrial world because we are running in rugged environments without any kind of active cooling, so there are no fans, as well as it has to operate continuously 24-7 for a period of years. So it's very important that these systems have very long life as well as very high fit rates. So that's why we focus on the heat dissipation. So this is a PLC reference uh, design from about two years ago. We call it Pocket IO. It was one of the smallest uh, designs and using a lot of Maxim ICs. It was about 28 ICs, I believe, or in that approximately in that range that enabled this. Now, this is the latest evolution of our PLC. So you can compare the two, you two and you can see the size difference between the two. This is comprising of about 12 Maxim ICs. And the reason we were able to do so much in such a small form factor is, over the last two years, the ICs are getting more integrated. Uh, one IC can now integrate away a lot of functionality that used to be done discreetly before. So we can get away with creating something this tiny. I think if I put them in perspective, it's much easier to see the difference in the size. So this is one example of Maxim's technology enabling Industry 4.0.